Hello everyone, this is Bluebell, and I'm here with six useful things. Ears hear, eyes see, tongues can taste and talk. Nose smells, fingers feel, we use two feet to walk. Stand still or sit still at any time during the day. Listen. Do you hear the walk? You hear the rain starting? Did you hear the car go past? What do you hear at your place? Have you ever put an ear to the ground? Have you seen the way the Indians put their ear to the ground? Have you ever put your ear to the ground to listen the way the Indians do? Put one ear down to a table when someone scratches the tabletop or taps it. Or while a watch lies ticking on the tabletop. How does that sound? What do you hear through a glass held to a wall? Can you hear someone speak on the other side of the room while you experiment with the glass? Listen. What do you hear? What can you hear through a glass held to a wall? Ask someone like your brother or your sister or a friend, or your mum or your dad, or your auntie, your uncle, or your cousin, your grandparents to go on one side of the room while you experiment on the other side with a glass and then could you video it and put it on the bottom and then we can play it you could put it on YouTube too and I can see it and we could see how loud it is and you can do that experiment have you ever shouted like through a paper cone like what the monkeys doing in the top corner <laughs> It's like a megaphone when you um, go to sports days at school. How does your voice sound then? Now, if you shout through cupped hands, how does that sound? Look at different shapes of the animal ears. See, so you hear the monkeys doing what you can do, your little experiment, and you can send it through. You could also send this one through as well. And the doggies are barking, the cute little doggies. See? How cute are they? See how they have different shaped ears? Some have the pointy ears. Some have the floppy ears like this one. And some have the pointy ears like that. Can you see that? Do you know why that is? Why do you think that is? How well do you smell? Collect together. This is in like another little experiment you can do. I just make that clearer for you. There you go. Collect together things with their um, own special smells. So orange peel or a slice of mandarin peel. Vulcan wants a mandarin. Listen to him. He loves eating mandarins. A slice of onion or a chunk of chocolate. You can get a gum leaf, or you could get a scented flower, um, some vanilla, or a, a square of bread, nice fresh bread, uh, a clove of garlic, and you could even crush it slightly, couldn't you? Some coffee, or anything that smells sweet or strong. You can put them into different containers, and then you can just do a little experiment where you blindfold one of your friends or a player, and then they can guess what it is and you can write it down and do a little chart and write their names down and write all the things that you've got and then tick it if they got the smell right. Or you could even time how many seconds it took for them to guess the smell. And that's a really fun thing to do on a rainy day like this. So you can hold at different distances too and you can see what different distances that they guessed it from. Fook wants to play. You can hear him who wants to join in. 
you'd probably be both be surprised by all the results and and then you could do a taste test as well. You can make a collection of um, well-flavoured foods like the chocolate, a banana slice, a pickle, a gherkin. Uh, you can do some salt and butter or whatever else you can borrow from the kitchen. You might like to add a, a teaspoon of honey or a teaspoon of jam. Then you can blindfold the player again and you can ask them to taste test each article and guess again what they've eaten and chart it down. It's not always easy. Uh, you can do another thing, and that is that you can hold the nose and taste it. And apparently, um, my little girl was telling me that if you hold your nose, that even an onion can taste like an apple. So that's something to give a try to. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful, these little ideas about...